welcome back to my channel so in today's video i will be showing you guys how to do the two color ribbon ruffle sock so in my first video i showed you how to do the ruffle sock using one ribbon so today we're going to step it up a notch and we're going to use two different colors. so the materials that i will be using today is this so i'm doing the lol theme lol surprise doll theme ruffle sock so i'm going to be using this uh, black and white polka dot ribbon by the ribbon boutique in the size 7 8 inch by 5 yards then i will be using this hot pink uh, in this size one and a half inch by four yards the ribbon boutique from hobby lobby then i'm going to be using white tool same place hobby lobby this is six inches wide 25 yards and my socks from target cat and jack so off camera i already went and cut my ribbon and my tool so for my socks i like to use two yards each sock so i cut my um and since i buy my ribbon in four yards i'm literally just cutting it in half so i cut two yards each of my hot pink i cut two yards each of my polka dot and two yards each of my tool okay so first i'm going to start off by folding my tool in half hot dog fold my two and a half and I'm going to make sure my ends meet up then I'm going to place my hot pink ribbon because that's going to be my first, my main color I'm going to uh, place my hot pink ribbon face down at the bottom of the tool just like that and I like to put my ribbon close to the top of I like to leave like an inch at the um, top of the tool so I like to put my ribbon as close to the top as I can, and then I'm going to sew these two together. color ribbon to my tool I'm going to go ahead and trim the excess tool from the back of the ribbon so I'm just going to take that and I'm going to trim it all the way down making sure I do not cut this tool at the top just the tool at the back next I'm going to take my second color ribbon and place it on top of the first and so when i'm done connecting my second fabric to the top of my third fabric i'm going to go ahead and make a wide stitch at the so top that wide tool. stitch is going to allow you to pull the thread and begin to make your ruffles if i could grab the thread so i'm just going to grab the thread pull it up and pull the ruffles down until i create a decent sized ruffle to go around my sock. Pulling the thread up and pulling the tool down. After I get my desired length with my ruffle, I'm going to take it, flip it upside down. I'm going to find the edge of the ruffle, which is right here. And then the heels should be facing you. I'm going to attach the end of the ruffle to the back end of the sock so you can see the seam in the back of the sock and not the front and then i'm just going to zigzag stitch my ruffle so once you're done attaching your ruffle to your sock you're going to find that back seam it should be lined up to the heel you're going to take it and zigzag stitch it together so as i'm sewing i like to stretch the rim of my sock out Fix my ruffles as I go. Place that tool on top of the rim of the sock. So you're gonna stretch it, fix your ruffles, place this tool on the top rim of the sock.
you're done attaching your vaccines, you're just gonna take the lighter and burn it to prevent fraying of the rest. And here's the finished product. Thanks for watching my video. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and comment what videos you guys would like me to do next or if there were any steps that you were confused about that you want me to answer. Ask me questions and I'll answer them. Thanks again for watching.